points in three of their last six matches. But the following month will determine the future of the Trouble Club in more ways than just on the field. We sent Clem to Fratton Park for the visit of promotion chasing Tranmere Rovers. Some of it's unbelievable. I mean, it really is. Some of it is stuff from fiction books. It's so complicated. There's a real tangled web of deceit in amongst all of this. A lot of people just want to come and watch football and support their team. Thank you very much. The story of Portsmouth Football Club has become such a tangle of financial spaghetti that it's easy to forget the heights they scaled just five years ago. As their supporters trust fight to save the club from extinction, they face two key dates with destiny. In ten days' time, the High Court will determine the value of Fratton Park and whether to release it from the clutches of former owner Balram Changrai. And if that happens, the Trust must complete their takeover and exit administration before the final round of League One fixtures on April the 27th, or forfeit the club's right to play in the Football League next season. The Football Club has been here for over 100 years. There are going to be thousands of people in here today that it means a tremendous amount to. So it has to be the right outcome. It's the only chance. Of course, it's got to survive. So the outcome, it will go our way. Things will be OK. If there's nowhere to go now, you have no, to do this. Good. Before that final picture. Yeah, true. well, that's it. That's what the Football League have said, you know. If it's not done by then, then, you know, we're not going to the Football League, which will be uh, catastrophic for this football club. It's just, uh, it's just so sad that, you know, it's been allowed to happen here, and, you know, who's to blame? God knows. You know, that's for other people to find out. We just, we just, we just do. We concentrate on the football. You know, I think there's been so many false dawns here since December, when the first court case was meant to happen, and you keep hearing things are going to happen, and you, you try and find out so you get a bit of a heads up. But we probably just thought at the end of January, listen, what's the point? What will be, will be. We've got to make sure we concentrate on what's going on the pitch. Squad numbers are silly. Are Fifty players, yeah. forty debutants, yeah. and yet somehow it's come together. Somehow there's some sort of cohesion, and there's a real spirit suddenly to work. Well, I think the end of January helped us because um, those that stayed here knew then that they were here at the end of the season. That probably December and January were the worst I've known a football club for the amount of uncertainty that was around. And then the end of January comes, and we, we managed to get a settled side and work with those players week in, week out, and that's what's been the difference. This promised to be a tricky place for Tranmere to rediscover the form that had them sitting pretty at the top through to the start of February. Abdullah Balbagi gave Simon Eastwood an early scare, but the nerves seemed to fray much faster at the other end. Rover's defence not helped by an untimely slip, as Patrick Adjamang found David Connolly with the goal at his mercy. Ronnie Moore's men shot themselves in the foot again when Ben Gibson squandered possession. Adjamang skipped away from Ash Taylor, but for a second time Pompey's composure crumbled at the vital moment. What Guy Whittingham strugglers required was a chance they couldn't possibly miss, and it came courtesy of Yassin Mutuakil, collecting Jeb Wallace's cute pass and finding Connolly inside the six-yard box. A winner which cost Tranmere their place in the top six. Hey, Scott, you're brilliant. Four games to go. You know, who knows where it can take us, you know? You've put so much effort in. All right, it's so important we keep going. I know you will. I know you will for the next four games. All right? What day is today? Monday? Yeah. So right. Thursday. Well, boys. Guy Whittingham rallying his troops after a good win against Tranmere. So after a